Okay, wow, this looks a little intimidating. Uh, I would suggest you pause it. Um, I'm gonna go through this in a quicker sort of a way, but this is the best way I could write it out. Uh, this is the process of completing the square. It's really just three steps, okay? Um, but you're gonna be able to solve quadratics by completing the square. So let's look at one, okay? What is the value of C that makes this a perfect square trinomial, okay? What we want is we wanna find a way to get two sets of parentheses that are the same, okay? So we need a number and a number that if I add them together, I end up getting, or if I multiply them, sorry, it's so much easier to just do. Um, okay, so let me show you. What we need to know, step number one, is find B. Find the B value. In this case, it's negative 16. Step number two, cut it in half, okay, which gives us negative eight. Step number three is square it. which gives us 64. So that is the number that goes in C. So what we end up with is x squared minus 16x plus 64. That way, I can break it down into x minus 8 and x minus 8. Okay. So we're taking the b value, the value in front of the x term, and we're figuring that number out first, negative 16. We're cutting it in a half, we're getting negative 8, and then we're multiplying it by itself, and we're getting 64, okay? So when we look at this one, we're gonna take the B value, cut it in half, square it, and that becomes C, okay? The whole object is to get a perfect square trinomial when we're done, okay? Now, how are we gonna use that? We're gonna use it to solve, okay? So we have X squared minus 14X plus 16 equals zero. The first thing we want to do is we want to get the x squared and the 14x by itself. So x squared minus 14x equals negative 16. You notice I left a little bit of space because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to figure out what goes here. So I'm going to find my b value, which is negative 14. I'm going to cut it in half, negative 14 divided by 2. And then I'm going to take that answer and I'm going to multiply it by itself. So negative 14 over 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. What you'll notice is this will always be a positive. Okay? Now, in math, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So we have to add 49 to both sides. Don't forget. Remember that part. It's very important because if you only add 49 to one side, then the equation is unbalanced. Okay, so what we end up with is x minus 7 squared is equal to uh, 33. Okay. And then we know how to do this. We take the square root of both sides. So x minus 7 is equal to positive or negative the square root of 33. And you can solve the rest. Remember, we'll have two answers. One of them will be positive the square root of 33 plus 7. The other one will be negative the square root of 33 plus 7. Okay, so that leads us to two solutions. So step number one, get the C value away. Okay, so we want C to be over here. And then we go through the process of completing the square. We add it to both sides, and then we factor it just like previous work. Okay, you can work on that one. Okay, now this, this formula right here, this thing is called the vertex form. Okay, um, and actually, if you remember a little bit ago, I think it was on section two, question number 28 had uh, a graph of a quadratic, and our job was to answer four questions. What is the y-intercept? What is the axis of symmetry? What is the, a va the value of A and the value of B and the value of C? Well, we can do that now. It's very easy. Uh, to go through that process at this point in time because we can use this formula. But let's look at this one, okay? 
So we want to get the 6x and the x squared by itself. So we're going to move the 8 over. Okay. I'm going to take this, cut it in half. I get 3, and I'm going to square it. I get plus 9. Remember, I have to do it to both sides. Okay. So what I have over here is y plus 1. And what I have over here is x plus 3 squared. Okay. Right, so that gives me that value. Now, you'll notice what we have is y is equal to x minus h squared plus k, where h and k are part of the vertex. So the only thing I need to do is now I need to move this over here. I've got the y by itself. I've got this set of parentheses. And then I'm going to move that. Okay, so now this matches up with this formula. y is equal to x minus h squared plus k. But now our variables are a little different. So we have a positive 3, but it's supposed to be a negative h. So that means our h is negative 3. And here we have a minus 1, but it's supposed to be a plus k. So that leaves our k as positive 1. So what we end up with is negative 3 comma 1 being the answer. To the vertex. Okay. So we can use this format to name the vertex. Remember we also have the process of the axis of symmetry. Okay. Next slide we'll give you a couple to practice on. Okay. Follow the example in the book and you'll be good. All right, last example. You'll notice in the book it's a word problem, but I'm going to give you just a basic way to solve it. Um, when a is not equal to 1, all of these other examples, A, the value in front of the squared term, has been a 1. Okay. Well, it doesn't work if it's not a 1. So we need to make it a 1. We divide everything by 2. So y squared minus 4y minus 5 equals 0. We get the C by itself. Cut this in half, square it, add it to both sides. Square root both sides. All of this is like repeated over and over again. Add 2. So I get y is equal to 5 or y equals negative 1. Okay. If I had a slow motion button, I would push it, but I don't. Okay. Um, okay, same thing here. Do that same process. Um, If you want to pause it, you can work it out, and then I'm going to write the answer down here. Okay. okay, so hopefully you went through the process of working it out, and those should have been the two answers that you got. And remember, directions probably tell you to round to the nearest hundredth, so two decimal places. And there you go. All right, check it out. Solve each one by completing the square. You might want to try another vertex question. That's up to you, but otherwise, see ya.